Today on TN Tactical, we're going to be discussing the ballistic protection of this baseball cap. Let's say you need to prepare your upper head area, the hedular region, and uh, you're going to a, uh, let's say, a ball game with the uh, team that has a tan color that I can't think of off the top of my head. Can you? I can't. Uh, Cardinals? Then there's suddenly a mass shooting in the middle of the ball crowd, and you're like, oh crap, I, I hope I'm protected with my ballistic protection baseball hat. Will it really protect you? That's what we're gonna find out today on TN Tactical. As you can see, Melon Tactical is properly drawn to give a good, accurate rendition of what a head and facial structure might look like. Um, I saw this hat online somewhere. I can't remember where, but I'm sure if you look for ballistic baseball hat, you'll find it. And I saw it and I thought to myself, man, there's absolutely no way you can wear this and not get hurt somehow. Because even with a bullet getting caught in this, I mean, let me set that there. Look at, dude. Look at. Well, I know, but it is heavy. It is heavy. I've worn it. You got like a plate, like a some kind of Kevlar plate structure right here. There's some on the sides here as well. And the back even has a little bit as well as the top. So it's supposed to catch bullets if you get shot in the head. As far as the ballistic rain goes, I believe it's 22, nine millimeter, maybe 40. I don't know. We're gonna find out today um, and see, not only will this catch the bullet, but we're gonna also see if it's gonna still bruise the crap out of your head. Maybe it'll indent your skull and maybe- A little you, frontal lobotomy action there. A little bit of lobotomization, yeah. See how that works out for uh, you. Yeah, who needs a personality anyway, right? Uh, the last thing you wanna do is get one of these hats, put it on thinking you're gonna be safe and then realize waking up in the hospital, oh, I have a brain injury right now. This I is my life. Too. As you can see, it's a nice tan color. I think it also comes in white. So not anything that would stand out by any means. Okay, so starting off 22, TX22 with our new Rugged Mustang 22 suppressor. See how quiet it is, I like it. Okay. Did we catch? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, I hit him in the head. In the face. Oh, somebody's oh. been training too hard. Oh. In your heart of tacticalness, you knew that that was a ballistic cap and to aim below it because you need a kill. That's what it was. Oh! I think the hat catches it and the hat flies off your head, thus taking the energy away from your forehead. Front of the hat here. Yep. Caught it. Did it go through? Yeah. That is just from the, the velocity of the bullet hitting Melon Tactical's head. Hey, you know what's neat though, man? What's that? You'd be alive. You'd be alive. You might have a concussion. I don't I know. I don't know if you would. Melon is a little softer than the human head, but at the same time, he's pretty hard too. <laughs> so let's try nine millimeter next and see how she does. Now it is time to try the uh, nine millimeter coming out of the Glock 47 MOS. Review on the channel if you want to check that out. Let's take a look. Take a look. Mellon Tactical says, only a glancing blow. I really do, because you've got the skull underneath as well. Don't rule out the uh, joy of bone. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, I think it did. Oh, it's got, it's like my baby's diaper when she's filled it up. It's, it's, uh, it's all holding right there, man. Look at this, there's no exit wound. Right? There's not. It, it's just, man, that's the, this is the power hurt. of just the, the velocity. But you would live. And you might be drinking out of a straw and eating Chef Bar the rest of your life, but. <laughs> the I mean, important part to remember, though, and this is serious, this is much preferable to, uh, you know, what could have happened. Okay. Next up is uh, 40. I think so. Right? Yeah. 
Smith and Wesson, 99. No. Oh. It's the Smith and Walder. Smith and Walder, 990L in 40 caliber. Pew. We're empty. Okay. And just like an Indiana Jones movie, that hat just went flying right off. Pew. Was very much a bit of a glancing bluff I've ever seen one right there. Well, 40 has a lot of mass. But uh, not a lot of velocity in comparison, and so check this out. You went up here. Show me the entry wound right there. Ah, yeah, you hit high for sure. And uh, oh wow, I'll count that as a win. I don't yeah, see definitely a win. How's Melon so, Melon Tactical received some knee damage? Yeah, this is the forty. That was so, the nine on the right side. Melon Tactical. Left. Melon Tactical lost a little bit more of his personality, but he's still alive. <laughs> now his favorite food is Jello. Uh, yes, and but he you likes know to watch. What? He's alive. And he likes to watch Teletubbies. Uh, <laughs> and Booba. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, he's already off on some adventure. Let me see that big old smile. Yeah, there you go. Turn buddy. that frown upside down, or <laughs> smile into a frown. There we go. Para ordinance, 1911. Shooting in the Lord's caliber. Powerball ammo. 45 ACP. Well, he's dead as hell. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Does it stop? That will, uh, that'll do it. The old Powerball. Yeah. They, uh, they told me that it would go through an engine block. It appears that is in fact the case. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, well where'd the hat, there it is. It's, it's way back uh, there. a little further back this time. And show me the outside first. Tiny hole. Yeah, just a little hole. And then on the inside, oh, Tubby, that's a real problem right there. Oh, you found it. I want to, oh, I want that, yes. You know what, actually, we should mail that out to some loving follower. Did it actually catch that 45 round? The important part to realize is, though it did catch it, it went, uh, what would you say? <laughs> Couple of, couple of fingers length into the head there okay let's put it this way it caught the bullet but the sheer penetrating power and velocity just pushed all the brains out anyways yeah, just you're, dead. you're definitely dead yeah yeah you're dead that's definitely not rated for 45 <laughs> ah, well that's wow. that's a short video good news everyone good news everyone it turns out that mount tactical is alive and well it would like to also test the ballistic capability of this hat against shotgun shells. Yeah! Behold, my ballistic sunglasses that you very commonly, oftenly see me wear in some of our videos. Those are real words. These uh, sunglasses are supposed to provide ballistic protection against bird shot. Rather than make a separate video of it, I thought, why not let Mountain Tactical try these out as well as the hat against bird shot today? And evil doer appears with a 12 gauge shotgun chambered in bird shot because he just wants to pepper them nicely. Would you survive? Well, first you gotta keep your sunglasses on. I think not. I think you're dead. In fact, I'm completely sure you're dead. Huh. There's part of your brain, there's where it used to live. In that hole. I have no idea where the frame, the lens went, but. Uh, they might be over there with the hat. I was told that it would catch the bird shot and you would survive. That was a lie. Ah, oh, you found a treasure. It turns out that in the end, bird shot did in fact get stopped by the sunglasses. Look at that. Now, where, mean, where this lens may end up. Stopped is up, relative, yeah. It may end up in your cheek or in your fucking skull, but hey, it will catch the bird shot for you. Good news. Good news, everyone. The hat may provide some ballistic protection. Better uh, than nothing. You may end up with a brain injury eating jello and Rice Krispie treats for the rest of your life. But you'll live. As far as the uh, ballistic sunglasses go, uh, assuming that they stay in the frame, which these did not, they do in fact actually 
catch bird shots where that piece of lens may end up, whether it's in your cheek or in your throat or maybe in the back of your head. Possibly just in your eye socket. Who knows? But it will catch that bird shot for you just to give you a little something they can take home for the boys to give a little show and tell to. I think we learned a lot though, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm uh, pretty happy with this. I have uh, rarely been more educated in my entire life. Would I get one of these hats? No, I would not. I'll take my chances and just not get shot in the head to begin with. The ballistic sunglasses, I think actually have a better cause. I mean, think about it. If you're wearing sunglasses like I typically wear in my videos, the same as that kind, you're shooting down range, let's say a, a burst shot pellet or something gets reflected back. It's good to know that the lens of those sunglasses can at least protect your eyes and catch it. So I really do think that the glasses honestly perform better than, than what we could have expected. I think the hat is uh, better than nothing, but as heavy as it is, mm, might not be worth your time. I don't know. So maybe not the hat because the weight and the obvious size of the huge thing around your head, but the sunglasses, I think they're good to go for the purpose that we're talking about. Using them at the shooting range, shooting, maybe you get something reflecting back a ricochet or a piece of burst shot or something, it will stop those, supposedly. You know, as long as it doesn't like bust out of the frame. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this video there. Remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Have we tried out one of these ballistic hats or sunglasses before? I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Tactical drinking action. Oh God, the mic get wet. I don't know. <laughs> Tactical! Woo!